Hey guys, what is going on? I hope you're all having a great day. So today we're going to talk about water dishes and what kind of dish should you give to a tarantula? That's perfect. That's good enough for them. So you can see we use um, deli cups for you here. Now, if you want to do deli cups, some things you got to be careful with. One is you got to make sure it's a big, it's a good enough size that it will be for a good enclosure, like a five gallon aquarium or something a little bit smaller than these ones, just so that it's not too big that will cover the almost the entire enclosure. Like for this one, this is perfect because you can, it's pretty deep for my, for my Sauropagobus lividus, cobalt blue, that's she's just shaking in there, and you can see the water dish, it's a pretty deep one, right? And there's lots of water, so more humidity for the tarantula. Really, and usually I want to do it at the corner. Um, you can wash them pretty easily, especially when there's stuff shit in there. And they're pretty cheap, so they're really good. So, and I can get a lot of it. So, and it's like I still got lots of deli cups right here. So, that's perfect. And this is what I do for all the tarantulas that are in these aquariums, or kind of like these, or like in these little smaller ones. I probably wouldn't don't do, do it in this one. I usually do it in these kinds, just so that it's still a pretty good size. It's a pretty good size tarantula for the water dish. One thing you gotta be careful on is for scorpions, like let's do my emperor scorpion. Let's see where she is. Scorpion, where are you? Okay, there she is. It's my Emperor Scorpion. She's hiding here. What I do for this girl is I add those kind of water dishes because if you add a deli cup right in there, she's just gonna drown in there and then as you know, she'll die. So you can't do that. So you gotta make sure it's a good size for the Scorpion. I usually pick these ones because they're better, easy to clean too. But they can be more expensive than deli cups, so you do need to be careful on that. Obviously, yes, for all trends I will use them. You see, this one's a little bit dirty. Dirty. This is my Gramistella Pulchra. No, 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 my Gramistella Rosea. My Chilean Rose there. As you can see, she's gonna... Let's test her temperament. Let's see what kind of temperament she's in. She's in a good mood. She's in a very, very good mood. So she's doing great. Um, let's go to the, these ones. Let's go to this one. Um, actually, let's do one of these ones. Let's do my Balfouri. My, monos my Monocentrobalus Balfouri. This is also known as the Scotta Island Blue Baboon. As you can see, she's made a very impressive webbing. So let's see if we can try to draw, draw her out. Oh my goodness, okay, she done it. Messed with, and there she is. She is not happy at all. Yeah, for what these kind of tarantulas are small, um, I usually just add these little, um, little blue soda cups. You know those little bottle sodas you get at stores? I use these. I will use the blue ones because, you know, I love blue. And I think they look fabulous. I like, I just do like blue. Like, blue cups, blue lids, I'll use blue lids for these. That's why I got these ones, because it's so cool. So, yeah. So yeah, that's what basically what you want to do for these ones. Now, if you're talking about slings, like very beady slings, like these ones, you don't want to have to use a water dish because if you put a little cup in there, it's covering the entire enclosure. So you want to make sure you still missed it, pretty much. And I think I did a video on slings past, but I will do one in the future, maybe later, another day soon maybe I don't know just so that that's more 
recent. That's why I would I would do it. But this one is just a recent one. I don't know where she is. She's in there. I know it. But yeah. Um, let's do my tight line. Um, obviously, let's do this one right here. Actually, this is my tight line bag. My Hapopalum Minex. She's doing great. She's just in her little hide, but yeah. But these ones basically just mist it every few days. And with the dryer space, they do it every like three or four days. But make sure it's substrate's relatively damp just so that they don't die of, of the dryness so there's no water. Um, obviously, oh yeah, you can also get these kind of, these, these are, I actually have seen them more often now at stores and online. This is nice because you can actually have a water dish in there. It's just covering part of it, but it's perfect for a tarantula. And that's also my Singapore Blue. And if you guys are wondering why I'm doing normal names, I'm, I, it's been a while since I've done videos and all, and I'm trying to get, I'm getting back to it because there's been things I've been trying to get done. So I'm a little rusty on the scientific names, so do apologize. I'm gonna get back to this, okay? Because I love doing this. So yeah. Uh, let's see here, because obviously with the juvenile trends to adult, these will be perfect, easy to wash. Um, in case instead of there's some dried water, then maybe just throw it away, get new ones. They are very pretty easy to get. So yeah, that's basically it. Usually very sling, missed it. Um, if you get a little bit of container like these or those. You can get a little cup, a little soda cup, and you put it in there. When I get bigger, definitely go for the deli cups. Deli cups are the best. I love deli cups. They are very, they're pretty good size, fill up a lot of water, humidity and all. And I'll always have water for like maybe a week, but I always make sure it's filled up every day so dried water doesn't get there. It's on the cup, so I miss it every day, so I make sure the water's good. So yeah. I think that's basically it. Um, snakes, obviously when you talk about snakes, obviously my ball pythons in here. So you want to make sure it's a deep, good size water dish. Um, maybe I should get a bigger one than this, but I think for now it's perfect. So yeah, so they, so they can soak up their body and keep the humidity good. Um, so yeah, that's really it. Obviously I got that little water dish for the, the my Goliath in there. I know that's really bad with the dried water on there. I'll have to, I have to clean this off. Need to figure out how I'm gonna get it off first, but yeah. That's basically it. That's all the thing it is for water dishes. You wanna make sure it's a good size tarantula too, so they don't drown, but if they can cover their, if it's a pretty good size tarantula, they will have no problems. So yeah. So yeah, basically it. If you have any other questions, just let me know in the comments below. So yeah. So yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please thumbs it up. If you did, thumbs it down. If you're new to this channel, subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when we'll upload another video in the future. Social media in the description below. Go check that out. So yeah, until then guys, I will see you in the next video. Peace and take care.